Today, we're recycling more plastics than ever before. Recycling can turn these valuable resources into new products, such as car bumpers, fleece jackets, plastic lumber for your backyard deck, and protective packaging. But some plastics cannot be recycled economically today. Is there a better option than burying these resources in landfills? One promising alternative is converting plastics to fuels. Just like it sounds, these technologies convert used, non-recycled plastics into oil, fuels, and other petroleum-based products. The process is fairly simple. Plastics that are not currently being recycled are heated without oxygen, using a process called pyrolysis to convert plastics into a gas state. These gases are then cooled and can be condensed into different products. Crude oil that can be refined into fuels and the feedstocks for other products, including plastics. Transportation fuels to power cars, buses, ships and planes. Petroleum products such as petrochemicals and lubricants that can be used in manufacturing and other industries. And fuel oils to produce electricity. Because plastics to fuels technologies could provide us with the ability to divert valuable materials from landfills and create an abundant source of alternative energy, the economic and environmental benefits of this technology are striking. If current capacity were to be expanded so that the U.S. could convert all its non-recycled plastics into oil each year, we could produce 5.7 billion gallons of transportation fuel annually, enough to power nearly 9 million cars per year. Additionally, the U.S. could support up to 600 plastics to fuels facilities, which could generate nearly 39,000 jobs and up to $9 billion in economic output. Plus, these technologies could reduce greenhouse gas emissions by up to 70% when compared to traditional forms of crude oil extraction. But the companies that process plastics into oils and fuels are encountering a stumbling block to achieving these benefits. Unfortunately, the existing legal frameworks in some states do not account for these technologies and incorrectly treat these technologies like regular waste disposal. The result? Communities continue to bury valuable resources in landfills. Policymakers can remove this stumbling block by updating regulations and permitting processes to reflect 21st century technologies by treating plastics to fuels equally with renewable energy technologies and by recognizing plastics to fuels technologies for what they are. A complement to community recycling programs, a domestic source of alternative energy and a boost for American jobs, and a manufacturing process that uses resources that would otherwise go to landfill to create valuable products in communities all across the country. It's time to stop burying valuable resources and embrace technologies that are good for the environment and good for America.